So you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, or maybe you'd like to move to St. John's, Florida. Well, today we're going to discuss the good and the bad, the yin and the yang, the pros and the cons of living in St. John's, Florida. And you're going to want to stick around to the end because we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in the Jacksonville, Florida area, or like today, St. John's, Florida, subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market conditions here in Jacksonville. My name's Jay Wyke and I'm a real estate agent and we get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you that are looking to move to this area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. Like I said, let's get started with the pros and cons of St. John's. Here we go. So we're gonna get started with the pros and cons of living in St. John's, Florida. Give you a little bit of background about myself. I've lived in St. John's, Florida for the last six years. Um, totally love living here. Uh, I didn't know that I would like it as much when I first moved here as I do now, uh, but I wouldn't really wanna live any other place. Uh, it is in the northern part of St. John's County, uh, located here uh, with my significant other. And she located here uh, so that her child could, um, you know, go to high school here. And her child got a really great education here. And she's gone on to uh, University of Florida with a full scholarship. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a drive to different places, you know, around the Jacksonville area. But, you, you know, you totally get used to that. It's totally worth it once you live here for a while. Um, before this, uh, living here, I did live in uh, Jacksonville in the Intercoastal West area, which is just across the Intercoastal Waterway uh, from uh, the beaches. And then before that, I lived for 15 years at the beaches. So I've lived around, you know, different places in this area quite a bit, you know, over a number of years. Uh, I'm in my third house and, uh, you know, ownership, and uh, it's been a great ride and I totally love it here. So we'll start out with the first con. Some folks aren't really happy about the growth of this area. Uh, all I can say is that there is buildable land in this area. It is gonna continue to grow. It is not overgrown. I don't foresee it overgrowing uh, because the County Planning Commission is not gonna let that happen. Uh, they're very conscious of the density of the area as far as housing goes and the amount of retail that they put in here. Um, but yeah, some folks, they want things to stay the way they are, you know, forever. And that's just not the way life is, you know, based on my experience so far. So, um, you know, things do change over time. I think things have just gotten better and better in this area. Uh, and, you know, I'm happy with what's going on as far as the growth goes. Uh, we need more construction. We need more uh, available inventory of housing. And, uh, you know, people are gonna continue to move to this area because it's a great place to live, of course. Uh, you know, the A-rated schools, but you know, with the popularity does come the growth. Okay, so another con that some people might not like is that there is some road construction going on in this area. Uh, in order to support the growth, they are building and widening roads. Uh, so you see a lot of the main thorough thoroughfares in this area going from two lanes to four lanes. Uh, occasionally, you know, they have to switch the lane direction up, you know, to accommodate that, move power lines, that sort of thing. Uh, but there is a little bit of uh, road construction that's going to be going on, you know, probably over the next year or two. Um, but they have the taxes and the, uh, you know, the infrastructure and the county supports the growth, you know, as I alluded to at the first you know, topic that we brought on, but there is, there is some road construction going on, but it's not really that bad. Uh, you know, they limit it mostly, uh, you know, to certain hours of the day and um, it's definitely tolerable. And, you know, we need it. They need to widen some of the roads in here and it is happening. Okay, here's another con for some folks. Um, you know, I work with buyers and they wanna, they wanna live in this area, but um, the median price point right now is 530 $5,000, that's a median price point. Median pr cost per square foot is uh, around $231 per square foot. And, you know, everyone does not have a budget that of course will accommodate that price point. Um, there are some uh, new, there are some townhomes, not really any new construction much going on with townhomes. They've pretty much stopped building those uh, for a while in this area. 
yeah, the single family homes, there are resales available and then, uh, you know, li you know, limited uh, new construction, you know, in that price point. Most of what I'm seeing, uh, you're going to need to drop, you know, definitely in the 500s, 600s and up, uh, you know, to live in this area. So it is a it is a higher price point and some folks want to pay. But, you know, there's different areas that you can live in, you know, in St. Augustine, Jacksonville, you know, Mandarin area, which is part of Jacksonville. You know, there's different options available. Okay, here is another con. Uh, some people do not like, you know, deed restricted communities. Uh, there are, you know, a limited amount of housing areas that don't, are not going to have a HOA, but the majority in this area will have an HOA. Um, there's a reason for HOAs. HOAs protect you from, you know, the worst people that live in the community. Unfortunately, everybody doesn't comply with, you know, the Homeowners Association requirements and therefore, you know, those things have to be enforced. Um, there's also something called a CDD, which is Community Development District. Um, I've talked about that before on my Yuli vlog video, if you want to check that out. Uh, if you're interested in Yuli, which is in Nassau County, but uh, CDD stands for Community Development District. Uh, it's a line item that most people will pay, well, everybody pays on their, uh, on their uh, county real estate taxes. It basically is apportioned through home ownership. And uh, most people are paying around two grand a year for that on top of their regular taxes. It can go, it can be higher than that, uh, depending on the amount of amenities with, with, that's within a community. Uh, but it covers, the builder uh, works out a deal with the county for a, for a bond and it's paid over like 20 to 30 years, but that gets passed on to the consumer you know, through individual home ownership, you know, it gets apportioned out. There is operations management fee that's part of that. And then the rest of it, you know, goes to the county for, you know, support of, you know, police, fire, utilities, construction, uh, water, roadways, schools, all that stuff. So, you know, that's part of the CDD, but that's part of the breaks of living in a community that does have it. And most of these new communities in this area do have a CDD. Last con uh, is gonna be, there is some limited uh, traffic and it's almost all related to uh, the school zones. Most of the schools are in, you know, residential areas. And this area is very thick with uh, residential areas. Uh, so therefore bringing their kids to school or with school buses or kids riding their bicycles, which a lot of kids do ride their bicycles because there's sidewalks throughout this area. There's a lot of crossing guards and I'm talking, you know, community officers through the sheriff's department. Uh, these folks have been trained. Uh, in a lot of cases during this, you know, in these school zones, there's uh, sheriff's cars, you know, nearby. Um, a lot of the crosswalks have those uh, flashing signals, you know, where the traffic stops so people can cross. But um, yeah, uh, you know, during drive time hours to school and during school release, uh, there will be some traffic. But that's just, you know, everybody that has kids and most all of us have kids uh, or have had kids <laughs> uh, that live in this area. Uh, you can definitely appreciate, uh, you know, why they have to slow things down for the schools. Okay, here's the biggest pro, uh, one of the biggest pros, which is the A-rated schools. Most of the schools in this area are like A-plus rated. Uh, there's a very low uh, student-to-teacher ratio. They do have these academies, which are K through 8, and then they have the high schools. Creekside High School and Bartram Trail are the main high schools in this area at this point in time. Uh, students that go to those schools, uh, they pick them specifically, uh, you know, for the focus, you know, like almost like a major in college. And you can transfer between these schools, you know, based on that, you know, what you want to focus on, you know, like major in, in high school. <laughs> it's just a fantastic uh, A-rated community for uh, schools. What can I say? I mean, I have people that are, you know, that's the most important thing to them is getting their kids in these great schools and uh, you know the, the schools are first and then the housing is secondary but believe me the housing is not taking third place the housing here is fantastic as well so great housing great schools okay so here's another pro which is going to be the, you know the availability of new construction in this area uh, there's several uh, new construction communities that are uh, you know actively being built right now one of them that i've already been in and shown you guys video will be out shortly the vlog 
is a Middleborn, fantastic community. Uh, there's a 55 plus community called Stillwater that's very nearby. Um, there's another 55 plus community nearby that's called Water Song. It's a Mattamy community. Um, you have Oxford Estates, which is with David Weekly. Uh, Middleborn, which is also with David Weekly. Uh, ICI is in Middleborn. Uh, you have Riverwalk, fantastic river, you know, very close to the river, but not necessarily right on the river. Uh, but very close, uh, no issues with flooding or any of that kind of thing you need to worry about there. Uh, Mill Creek community, uh, there's Bartram Ranch, those are both Toll Brothers communities. Um, just a fantastic amount of new construction in this area. And of course, if you want a resale home, you know, they're also available. If you want a place, they're definitely out here and the inventory is, is growing a little bit as of late, you know, with what's been going on with the uh, mortgage rates. It's definitely still, it's balancing out between a buyer's and a seller's market. Uh, the buyers are starting to get a little bit more leverage. So we can definitely, you know, help you with that, you know, to get you a great deal. And uh, feel free to reach out, of course, always available for you for that. Okay, let's talk about location. Uh, you know, St. John's is in the northern, northwest section of St. John's County. It's very close to Duval County, yet it's not in Duval County. It's, it's just a great location. Um, you still have all the benefits of living in St. John's County, but you have a, a, you know, a very uh, low uh, commute time in the Jacksonville and Jacksonville areas like Mandarin. Um, you're still only you know, 20 to 30 minutes uh, from the downtown you know, historic area of St. Augustine, uh, the upper echelon, upper region of St. Augustine from St. John's is really only 10 minutes away. You can drive to the beaches uh, within 20 minutes to the east. Uh, you can get to the riverfront within 10 minutes. And if you wanna go across the river, you can be in Green Coast Springs, Fleming Island, Orange Park, and then you can go on to Gainesville if you want from there. But uh, yeah, this is a great location. And um, you know, a lot of people move here because of it. Uh, if you wanna live here, definitely you're gonna do a little bit of driving, you know, if you're commuting from Jacksonville, but it's very, it's very minor. Uh, we have great roadways, high-speed roadways, uh, no, no stopping, you know, stop standstill traffic to worry about in this area. And um, yeah, location's awesome. Okay, so this is the, uh, another big pro and it's going to be the last one that I'm coming up with at this point, <laughs> uh, which is going to be, you know, a sense of safety. Um, you can always check, uh, you know, spotcrime.com if you want to check crime statistics, but uh, you're going to see uh, for yourself, there's not much there to uh, speak of as far as crime goes. It's a very, you know, you have a sense of safety in this area. Um, as far as the community goes, uh, people have a lot of pride in living in this area. A lot of people relocate here, but you have people from all walks of life, you know, a good mix demographics. You know, people are friendly. Uh, you, you know, you go through neighborhoods, people are, don't be surprised if people, you know, nod their heads, say hello, wave hello. People walk in their dogs. Um, during all of the, uh, you know, major holidays, you know, people are very festive. You know, the neighborhoods do a lot of Christmas lights and Christmas events. Um, within, within all of these communities that I spoke of, uh, there's a lot of uh, community-based events that are going on as well. And they're always doing things for the kids, constantly doing things for the kids and events. So um, just a great, great place to live. Uh, I'm very happy in living in St. John's. Love the sense of community and safety. So I hope you got a lot out of this discussion of the pros and cons of living in uh, St. John's, Florida. You can always reach out to me. Uh, contact information is in the description below. We can even schedule a Zoom call as well. Um, if you have any uh, comments, feel free to leave those below as well. Always welcome to see those. And whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville or like today, St. John's. And until then, Hope to show you around town.